Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book. For small creatures such as we, a creation by Sasha Sagan. In her book, For Small Creatures Such As We, 2019, Sasha Sagan presents a guide for those who wish to mark life's important moments in a non-religious way. Through a scientific perspective, the author encourages secular individuals to embrace their own meaningful rituals that evoke awe and offer solace, while also exploring traditional ceremonies. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Sasha Sagan is a multi-talented professional with experience in writing, editing, filmmaking, and television production. She has worked in various cities such as New York, Boston, and London. Sasha is recognized for her unique approach of exploring cultural rituals through the lens of science. Her thought-provoking essays have been published in reputable magazines like New York Magazine and O, oh, The Oprah Magazine. With eight key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, create meaningful rituals in your life without needing to follow any specific religious or cultural beliefs. Rituals provide comfort and anchoring during times of change. Many traditional rituals are religious, leading to a desire for alternative, non-religious rituals to mark life milestones. Creating our own rituals is possible, from small daily practices to larger gatherings. Reflect on what is meaningful and connect with the wonder of the universe. Examples will be discussed, such as singing the alphabet as a marital ritual and the significance of a 23.4 degree angler and an ancient Greek goddess in relation to birthdays. Key idea number one, birth is a reason to celebrate because the chances of our existence are incredibly slim. The text discusses the marvel of human existence and the unlikely events and circumstances that led to each person's unique presence on earth. It emphasizes the preciousness of life and the remote odds of an individual's existence. It also mentions various cultural rituals and traditions for welcoming newborn babies and suggests creating personal rituals to celebrate and honor the newest family member. Key idea number two, regular social rituals can foster connections with loved ones and build a sense of community. Regular rituals, whether religious or not, can bring comfort and connection to our lives. They create patterns and structure, helping us navigate uncertainty. Rituals can be simple, like a cup of coffee in bed, or more intentional, like a weekly singing session with a spouse. They can also foster community, as seen in a monthly dining society. The frequency of weekly rituals makes them special and prioritized. Overall, rituals can increase structure, reassurance, and a sense of belonging in our lives. Key idea number three. Celebrating the change of seasons teaches us to accept the cycle of life. Earth's tilt of 23.4 degrees is responsible for the changing seasons. Religious celebrations like Easter and Passover in the spring and rituals for the dead in the fall are linked to these seasonal changes. These celebrations often symbolize rebirth and fertility. Winter solstice marks the longest night of the year and is celebrated as a sign of hope for the return to warmer days. Key idea number four, confessing and seeking atonement has benefits beyond religious reasons. It fosters personal growth and connections with others. Guilt serves an evolutionary purpose, helping us reconcile and make amends with others in our community. Various cultures and religions have rituals of confession and atonement. Alcoholics, Anonymous, and therapy also use confession as a means of growth and healing. Confessing and apologizing can mend relationships and alleviate guilt. Admitting our mistakes is difficult, but it is important for personal growth and repairing ties with others. Key idea number five, annual celebrations such as birthdays provide an opportunity to connect with loved ones and the world around us. Anniversaries connect us to the movement of planets and something greater than ourselves. The Yiddish word Yarzeit is used to commemorate the death of a loved one. Lighting a Yarzeit candle makes us feel that a part of that loved one is still with us. 
candles are also used to mark birthdays, a tradition that may have started with the ancient Greek goddess Artemis. Birthdays are a celebration of life and a reminder of our ancestors. Each year we defy death and continue to experience the joys and challenges of life on Earth. Key idea number six. Recognizing weddings as social rituals allows for the opportunity to establish unique traditions. Weddings are full of traditions that have cultural, historical, or religious significance. Many of these traditions are related to fertility, such as showering the couple with rice or giving eggs or wheat. Other traditions symbolize cooperation or commitment, like splitting a log or wearing a ring on the fourth finger. When planning a wedding, it's important to include traditions that are meaningful to you, regardless of their origins. Key idea number seven. Sexual rituals are heavily influenced by religious and social norms. Sex has been burdened with shame since ancient times, despite being a natural act. This stigma may be due to the power and potential dangers associated with sex, such as disease and unwanted pregnancy. Marriage has historically been a common ritual around sex, but not the only one, as some societies openly celebrated and practiced polygamy. Regardless of cultural beliefs, sex has always had a transformative power and has shaped our existence, relationships, and roles in society. Key idea number eight, rituals surrounding death assist with grieving and the expression of sorrow. Death rituals such as burial, cremation, and mummification have been practiced since ancient times. In Tana Toraja, Indonesia, mummification is still practiced, while in other cultures, exhumation is seen as a loving custom. Funeral rites are just one aspect of death rituals that help people come to terms with loss. Various cultural practices, such as covering mirrors in Jewish homes and putting up posters in modern Bulgaria, serve as reminders of loved ones and prevent mourning in isolation. These rituals are not necessarily religious, but are a part of our shared humanity. They help us navigate life's events and connect with others. By creating our own unique rituals, we can mark the milestones of our lives. In conclusion, humans have a natural longing for community and connection provided by rituals. It can be difficult for secular individuals to create meaningful non-religious rituals, but most rituals are not rooted in a specific faith or culture. They are based on nature and our humanity, so we can engage with rituals in a way that is personally meaningful. The actionable advice is to create your own spring ritual, like Blossom Day. Celebrating the arrival of spring is important, and Sagan's mother invented Blossom Day for her when she was a child. Lastly, the book Cosmos by Carl Sagan explores our traditional rituals connected to natural wonders and our understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on StoryPlanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on StoryPlanet.net.